Okay, so today we're installing a ROM. And the way to install a ROM is first, you want to do a backup of everything that you have. So if you're moving on from ROM to ROM, um, and you just got a, uh, let's say you got a Note, or you got a Note 2, you got an S3, whatever type of uh, Android device you got, the first thing you want to do is backup. Okay, so once you have it rooted, I'm hoping you have this rooted because this, all this whole video is based on you already having your phone rooted. Um, you want to go into the Play Store and to back up everything, you're going to use a thing called Titanium Manager. Okay, so Titanium. Here it is, Titanium Backup. I said Manager, sorry. Okay, so you got Titanium Backup right there. And what you're going to do is, of course, you're going to download it. I'm just going to open it. And we're going to grant it. Don't check that because then it'll ask you every time. Once it's opened, click OK. And before you start backing up or doing anything on Titanium Manager, we are going to go back down to the home and we are going to go into the store and make sure that you have all your apps um, on the latest edition before you back up. So we're going to go to my apps and in my apps you're going to see I have 14 updates so you just click updates then automatically all these things are updating and see how it's updating but on top of that you have manual updates so uh, if you could see to do the manual updates just click one of them because it's downloading all the other ones and installing the other ones there may be some lag but you just click on update and make sure you have this checked because if not it'll never automatically update so you go back out click back and you go to the next app and you do the same exact thing and so you do each one of the apps in the same way did I click back okay there we go and you go to the next one we have four here and you update them the reason to update them before you back them up is so that you have the latest version when you back them up and that way when you restore the phone you're not going to be restoring old software that you're gonna update anyways so okay let's click back on this one and we have two more to go so once the apps are loaded and everything is good you're gonna exit and you're gonna go to your titanium manager should be alphabetical and where is it T titanium backup I mean okay and I'm gonna show you something really quick if you go to backup and restore here you get backup one by one app and all the ones that are in red um, are the ones that are not backed up it says no backup yet and the ones that are backed up um, it'll tell you like one backup okay so this is the way to do it manually if you have the free version if you have the paid version you could hit that little check and go straightly directly to backing up all your apps automatically so here we're gonna go to backup all user apps so we're gonna run there's a backup for system data if you're gonna go back to the same ROM or maybe the um, you could do that it's not recommended but uh, you can back up system data system data is like all your other stuff how you have your settings and all that but you could do that manually if you want for instance contacts and all that can be backed up there but the best way to do that if you want to back up certain things like contacts is just go back and do it manually here I'm gonna do this automatically and we're just gonna back up we're gonna go back up all user apps and we're gonna click the checkbook okay okay so then it starts doing a backup and we're gonna come back when that backup is done of course okay so once once all the programs are loaded um, you're gonna get this screen and you can check on which ones have been loaded which ones are have been saved and which ones haven't you could 
you could come and save the ones that maybe you think, for instance, you're not going to get in the next ROM. Like maybe you're going to miss out with the AccuWeather and then you just come and you save that. Because all these with the red are still ones that haven't been saved. For instance, I installed Beats in the last version. You could have Beats on it. I like to do it from the zip file and install it that way. What I want to show you is one big thing is make sure that you save it on an SD. I'll tell you why. Um, this way you can wipe out everything. You totally delete everything on the phone before you install a new ROM. This is going to avoid you from having all the errors that people say, Hey, how come my phone has this when I, when I installed this uh, ROM and nobody else has this problem? So, to be thorough, you just delete everything so you install a brand new ROM. And to do that, you're going to go into where it says Backup Location Folder. I already have mine selected but you're going to be able to select and put what folder you want in in this section okay so we're going to exit out and then after you do all that we're going to start and I'm going to show you how to find a ROM okay so to find a ROM you're going to go to XDA and you're going to input which okay so once you have all that we're going to shut down and we're going to shut down the phone oh actually you know what this uh, mod actually has a reboot, so I could go into recovery mode. But for you people who don't have one and you just rooted your phone, I'm going to show you what to do. You hold down, you're going to power off the phone. Okay.